The L Word's latest episode. I actually lost count of the number of sexual scenes in Generation Q, which also features significant conflict between Bette and Tina's fiancé Carrie, Rosie O'Donnell. I'm not complaining, of course, because Bette and Tina's conflicts and sex scenes are what make the L Word so popular. The first sexual encounter between Sophie and Finley in Episode 7 is followed by numerous others. Sex in the workplace, sex in the vehicle, sex at home, they truly can't stop. However, at least their content. Finley on the other hand, shows some insecurity about her level of maturity throughout the episode to the point where she asks Danny how to be an adult. In fairness, Danny is a good adult role model, particularly in this episode. Danny considers her own feelings for Gigi after Gigi revealed that she had changed her feelings for her. She decides that since Gigi is her ex, she wants to talk to Bet. Bet never hears from Danny, but Alice assures her that it would be fine when she talks about it with her. Gigi assures Danny that her feelings for her are genuine after Danny tells her about this and they share a lovely kiss. There is a lot of drama involving other cast members. When Bet and Alice go to brunch, they see Nat and Gigi eating together, which prompts Bet to make the following observation. Why are they both present? That's just so gay. I laughed when Alice also refers to them as one big giant ex. But not for long, as this episode features Alice sleeping with Nat twice. Twice, once in a public restroom, and once in the car with Alice's head sticking out of the sunroof. I get it, I mean. Nat has a lot of charm. However, Alice and Tom had me a little excited as well. The most sensational piece of the current week's episode occurs with Bette and Tina's life partner, Carrie, who both go to a quiet sale for Dana's facilitated by Shane and Tess. Carrie approaches Bette, who is there with Pippa, after having a few too many drinks. She tells Bet that she wants them to get along, and Bet tells her that she won't say anything but polite things. When Shane and Tess drive Carrie home after she gets really drunk later that night, they learn that Carrie doesn't think she can marry Tina. The long-awaited kiss between Shane and Tess occurs shortly thereafter, and it is absolutely stunning. However, Jordy's choreographed promposal for Angie, with umbrellas that spell out prom with a question mark, has to be the cutest moment in this episode. The episode comes to a close with a well-choreographed sex scene between Bet and Pippa and a hand job between Sophie and Finley in the car that the police interrupt. There are only three more episodes and I can't wait to see